All right. We are okay, live. and we are live. Welcome, everybody, to Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show. We are here today with the usual suspects. Uh, excited to bring you today some brand new news and other things that we usually end up doing. Uh, our man, um, our man David, um, he couldn't be here today. He's doing some things, but he, yeah, we chilling. We'll be back next time. Uh, I say, since we're already here, we can get to it. Uh, so here we are with Vincenzo with some fig news. <laughs> Vinay, hey, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Bro. That was Thank you, bro. That, that, that was perfect. That was amazing. That was good. Yeah. That was amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Derek. That's much appreciated. We, there... got a, we, got, we got a good chunk of stuff to talk about, so let's not waste any more time and get right into the news. First up from McFarland Toys, uh, the uh, a two pack of Flash and Red Death has went up for pre order. Uh, Vinny, you're, you're you're not screen sharing. Uh, I'm about to bring it up. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. There okay. we go. So, 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 okay, so we McFarland just put up pre orders for Flash and Red Death as a two pack. Okay, this is a nice uh, two pack. Uh, and red, red death. You kind of need the red death if you're kind of building your uh, your Dark Knights metal team. He's kind of mm -hmm. a, he's kind of part of that. Uh, I do kind like of unfortunate. The... You gotta get the you gotta yeah, get the flash if you don't want the build. flash. But yeah. yeah, they look they look good, and it's a it's a decent price. Like what is it? Like forty bucks? This is around yeah, forty bucks. There you go. Oh, that's not too. Huh? That's not too bad. That's not too bad yeah, for uh, two, two figures and a nice little base. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looks uh, yeah, it looks uh, pretty decent. I uh, got some people in the chat: Gojira, Patricia, Miss Cog, Smith. How we all doing? What's up? Hello. What's up, y'all? What's up? What is up, everybody? Welcome to the chat. Well, welcome, welcome. So today, um, for uh, for you, GI Joe, <laughs> we have we have two new GI Joe figures uh, up for pre order. Okay, uh, yeah. So we got uh, Flint and Lady J. I think these both look really nice. Definitely, uh, the Lady J comes with some good accessories. Yeah. I'm really liking this uh, classified line. I gotta say, like, I'm really liking this line. My, my only, uh, my only complaint, and this is just a minor complaint. I, I, th I think we need more uh, Cobra guys. I think we're kind of lacking like Cobra guys. I yeah. agree. You yeah, know. they did go Jira. He go. Yeah, he got to fight them to get back. You, are, you already know how it goes. <laughs> I think I think if the line in the next few months uh, proves successful, that they'll start doing that. They they need to see that there's investment. Yeah. Very much. Gojira, these Joes would go great with Dutch and a Predator setup. They would. They actually look like they. Yeah, they they look the part, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this Arnold Schwarzenegger ripoff right here. That jaw. <laughs> well, 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 that's our two pack. Looking pretty cool. Now, next up for you, for you Ultraman fans uh, the, uh, from Bandai. The, if you have been watching Ultraman Z, you, you guys know who this guy is. It is Savenger, and he's going to be a, a light sound uh, gimmicky figure, which is why the price is so high. Uh, he, Ador adorable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's adorable. He, he's supposed to. He he really has a, a LED lights and, and also um, some sounds out of him. So he so he's a gimmick figure, pretty much. Look, he's like he's like a Wally, only he can walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh shit! That's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Uh, uh, is a... You uh, you getting in on this, Vinny? Not sure. Uh, 
I'll, I'll probably I'll probably wait for the cheaper SH figure arts alternative, but for now I think I'm gonna pass on this because not a big enough ultimate fan to spend nearly two hundred dollars on a figure like this. Makes that sense. Makes, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, anybody else who wants to? Yeah, go, 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 go right ahead. Uh, it's it's right up here, you alley. Speaking of Ultraman, if you got if you guys have Ultra Z, Zero or Ultraman Z, which is I think coming out soon, I'm not sure. And the the the, the uh, then uh, you, this cape will make the excellent uh, addition. Uh, that's all it is. They're, they're, they're selling a posable uh, cloth cape. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, the figure is sold separately. The, the, and this figure and this cape is for Ultraman Zero. So be on the lookout. <laughs> Next up, from uh, next up, this uh, this is a Japanese exclusive, which is why the price is high, since Big Red Tour Star technically has to import this, so uh, to pretty much make it back lost profit. There, uh, this is the Ultraman SH Figure Arts Zeton, the Trillion Degree Fireball version exclusive. We already did get Zeton, which you could still get, but this one is a repaint with with a more fiery type look to it, and comes with this Fireball accessory. Cool, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, the, um, uh, 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 thinking about getting this, not sure. I am lead, leading towards the, the regulars at that time since I could still get, get that for a cheaper price, but, but we'll s s see what happens. Next up from Storm Collectibles, we are finally getting the Mortal Kombat 3 uh, maskless Sub Zero. Ah, uh, this is what Gojira was mentioning last night on my stream. All right, yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'd say it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks good. He, he yeah, looks pretty a, solid. He, he looks uh, uh, awesome. Uh, uh, a very underrated version of, of Sub-Zero, uh, for sure. The, 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 the ice effects are definitely my favorite uh, out of the other Sub-Zeros. Yeah, ice effects look good. Oh, oh awesome. that especially looks really good. Ooh, you, yeah. You, you can place a uh, scorpion in in a little ice cr crystal. Hmm. And that's, that, that's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> and pair and a half. <laughs> yeah. I kind I kind of I kind of want agree. it. Like I kind of I kind of want to buy it just for that. <laughs> but, sorry, but, but but not just that. He also he also comes with a pool of blood. Hey, you know, this gives me an idea. Why can't Storm put out like an accessory kit of just all this kind of stuff? I know, right? Oh, it's, it, it, it's got it's got to be in the in in the works. <laughs> they got to be thinking about it. So not only do you get two split apart blood effects, you, you, you get two pieces of, of a frozen man, which you could place scorpion inside of. You can also have a bunch of severed hands and bones to make it look like a fatality just happened, or use it for another diorama. But uh, who knows? But yeah, this figure lo looks pretty cool, and uh, uh, I, 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 I made an ice pun. Sorry about, about, about that, folks. And, the, the, uh, and this figure is 85 bucks, so it's not too far off from the usual strong collectibles uh, stuff. I already placed a pre-order for this, so I am definitely looking forward to it. Welcome, uh, Tron, in the chat. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the chat, fam. Welcome. Next up for Marvel, Mezco is finally releasing Ghost Rider and the motorcycle, but at a cost. Listen, <laughs> listen. If the motorcycle can actually be on fire with real flames, I'll get it. Okay. I mean, I I already heard behind the scenes it's supposed to have sounds and also lights, but I still think two hundred and forty is pushing it. Yeah, that 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 seems that does seem steep. Especially when uh, a traditional Mezco yeah, that, figure costs eighty that bucks. Be compare, compare this to the Mezco Black Ball, which was one hundred and ten dollars cheaper. And like I said, the Lawmaster with Judge Dredd way cheaper than this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, why, why? I mean, when it first came out, it was cheaper. Yeah, like this, like this is uh, this is almost a price. Well, like Jimmy, you were saying, this is almost a price of like a hot toy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I think I think if I think if you get if if, if I think you, you could get a Hot Toys Mandalorian for for around the same price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, you really can. 
Yeah. Or you, so. or you could, or you could get like four like figure arts. You, 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 you could get two packs of a, Mar- a Marvel Legends. Yeah. Was, uh, so yeah, it really makes me question what was going on behind the scenes. Was it licensing issues? This, this is not an exclusive eater. This is a standard release. Uh, so, this is a standard release, so the price, so the cost, makes it even more uh, confusing. Uh, Tron yeah. wanted to see our beautiful faces for a moment, so hi, Tron. All right, there you go. Yeah, we're all, we're all, we're all real. We're all here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I think, uh, sure. I, th- I think yeah. that I think that price might just be uh, too much, yeah. too much for me. Yeah, Gojira said it right. X plus money, that's for certain. Yeah. And y'all, y'all, that's two hundred and forty dollars for 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 me. But that's gonna be almost like four hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So so that's so right. if you live if you live outside of the states and need to rely on international shipping, uh, you're fucked. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> Thing is, though, people have already been complaining about the price. What I think might happen potentially it's a uh, it's kind of a risk if you decide to do this it could end up like mezco's dark side where that was 180 and now you could find it for as cheap as 120 ghost rider may end up being the same way because we already have a, a, a lot of folks uh, complaining uh, uh, about the price tag so, yeah I, I think it's i think it's one of those things uh where let's see how many people kind of jump and pre-order jump yeah. on a pre-order right away mm-hmm. i, I I think for I think for me, uh, if if there's no, I, I think for me it comes down to like if they're gonna charge a deposit because I could see myself I could see myself pre-ordering this and kind of maybe like trying to save up for it, but I, I don't think I would want to commit to it at no, no, this no. price point, you know. Yeah, no, they, they they are charging a non-refundable deposit of forty-eight bucks. Yeah, uh, for, for, 48 bucks. Uh, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's right here. Go it's ahead. Right here. I'm safe. Oh, sh- oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the way I look at it is this is probably going to end up most likely like Dread, where to get him in the Lawmaster is really expensive these days. Yeah. Um. So I guess, you know, it's either go in now or pay more later, unless you get lucky, like on eBay, which is kind of unlikely with Mezco. Mm-hmm. So. I don't- uh, you know, uh, and out of all figures, it, it, again, this is not an exclusive. They give you a two-day timer. Oof. Yeah, they're they're really they're really uh, they want to test how how kind of devoted you are to Mezco. The 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 the, the, the sad thing is, uh, I I've actually been wanting the, the this figure for a while, so mm-hmm. fuck me. <laughs> And you know, you know what would warrant this price if we can get interchangeable parts to make a Johnny Blaze figure and a regular motorcycle. I mean, oh, yes, there you I go. Mean, that, I mean, there was a chance that that we might get an alternate head. Yeah, but that wouldn't be enough if the motorcycle's in flames already. You know, sure, and there there was soap. Yeah, that's true. Well, maybe there's a possibility we can also get interchangeable parts to make it look, look like it's not on fire. So. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, the, 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 that would be uh, pretty cool. Uh, but, mm-hmm. but anyway, um, am I going to get this? Sure. Am I happy about the price? Absolutely not. <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. And when we get some more photos, which is g- going to be on Monday, we'll, this figure goes up goes up for, for pre-order. I will be sure to let uh, to let everybody see them, so we can officially make that judgment. Because n- nobody should worry about this figure if it's a standard release. Yeah, and uh, it, it, it's not an exclusive, so don't so don't panic. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, next up for, for, uh, on the more positive side, Marvel Select is giving us Titanium Man. Sweet, nice. Yeah, I I want this. I'm probably gonna pick it up. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. For I sure. may very well p- pick this up too. See, good job, Diamond Slick. You did something right. Yeah, like, like, like Someone's. we've kind of talked about. We've, yeah, like we've kind of talked about before. Like, this is just what they should be doing. 
just give us these kind of obscure characters and if they're kind of big and bulky it's like even even better yeah sure like like uh has hasbro does not even need to make the destroyer armor because even if hasbro made one it couldn't touch diamond selects like (sighs) you know and honestly this is this is the same thing where i think this this is probably going to be the definitive titanium man hasbro you don't even need to worry about it now yeah i mean their their abomination still holds up yeah yeah their abomination uh their uatu is really good if you could find it um but yeah like i said really just nice i like it it's not a is is it gonna win figure of the year probably not but like it's just a nice, solid, uh, solid titanium, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'd say so. Uh, I definitely want to go collect this. I only cherry pick my Marvel Selects, but this is perfect. Yeah, me for, too. Yeah, this is perfect for Marvel Select to go with uh, Marvel Legends, like the 80th anniversary Iron Man uh, Marvel Legend. Yeah, pretty much. Like the only Selects I buy are are stuff that uh, I can scale with my Legends. Yeah. Uh, uh, same right. Way. So, so does that. Now, speaking of Marvel, the, this, this, the select figures do look really good. Uh, yeah. The thing is, I, although I agree they're not good at posing, that's why if if you could if you get characters that you don't really need to pose that much, it's uh, even even better because yeah. then you don't even have to worry about that. Like, listen, like you don't need to have Titanium Man doing fucking backflips and shit. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of Marvel, Hot Toys is just gave us a, a absolute surprise, and that's the Hot Toys Zombie Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gojira, I, I do not believe... I, I don't think they made an Odin. They did have the... If you got the Destroyer armor, it came with an alternate head where you could make it Odin. But they have not made kind of like a standalone Odin release. But yeah, that would be really crazy. That would be. So yeah, this is Hot Toys kind of just riding on the Deadpool hype train. Some more. Yeah. Like I like I said before the stream started, it looks good, but I like the modifications they did to the movie suit to make it comic book accurate. And if they do that, just a plain right. Deadpool like that, I'm in. All right, now this is this is where I kind of come in as like a like a comic book like snob, but like technically the head is the Deadpool from that universe right so like the zombie deadpool and the head technically cannot exist at the same time Um, okay yeah because because that like that's basically what happens in uh, marvel zombies is he just loses his body so technically uh the head is technically the same character as the the zombie deadpool but uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm just, I just kind of had to mention that because I'm just being a comic book snob. Hmm. That I did not. That I that, didn't know. I thought. Great. Now we're not going to get promoted by Hot Toys. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs> well, damn. Technically, is technically it's not accurate, but it's okay. I'll allow it. Uh, I'll let it go this time. You, you, you want to know what I do? Like the, the, the this whole comic book uh, displays a setup that, that that they include with uh, the figure. That's yeah, I think neat. that. Uh, I think that's cool. Yeah. Uh, Tron's asking if any of us are getting the Hot Toys Venom from the movie. Uh, yes. No, no, no. I, I will not be getting the Hot Toys Venom. I will. I will be, 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 be getting it. I <laughs> am going to hold out until Venom Two because I heard he might be getting the Spider Symbol. Mm. I would. I would hold your breath on that, Jimmy, but. Because I haven't heard anything about that. <laughs> no, I heard so there was some leak of the Halloween costumes uh, that had the logo on Venom. It could just be BS, but 
I'll I'll wait a little bit longer. All right. Really quick, don't even think about it. Just first first thing that pops in your mind is Venom in the MCU, yes or no? No. Eh. Yes. I say I say yes as well. <laughs> <laughs> what? It, it might not be like mainline <laughs> Disney MCU, Why? but it, they're connected. Is, is it because of uh, 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 Cho? <laughs> Look, he'll if, have if he'll... the Vulture is in there. Oh yeah, yeah. For, uh, I uh, I forgot about the the Vulture. Never mind. So yes. <laughs> okay, so mo- mo- moving on to Transformers. Uh, but also Marvel at the same time. This is a ultimate expanse. Yes. Well, we're yes. we get a transformer that it's it, 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 it a blackbird. Except this alt mode looks extremely clunky. Okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. Also, and also it comes with uh, two. What happened? Uh. The alt mode looks a little bit sus. There's no denying that. But just just the very notion of this, I want it. <laughs> Mr. V. Yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, yeah. Again, the, the jet mode is, is kind of is kind of a little sus. I don't I, I don't wanna I don't wanna repeat what he said because we're gonna we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> hey, listen, it's a dildo, okay? <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, the alt mode doesn't look great, but you know what? I'm not gonna display them in the alt mode, so I'm not worried about it. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of already, I kind, I kind, I kind of have the other uh, crossover figures that they did, so I might as well kind of get this one too. <laughs> Yeah, like it, like Matt said, I, I'm getting it just to have a transforming X Men Blackbird. Yeah, it, that, it's that's, just, that's it. Yeah, it's just like it, it's just a cool like niche thing. I, I almost might buy two just to keep one in the package because the, the packaging looks so cool. It does, yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and you get a, you. you you get you get a little uh, you get a little cyclops. You get a little cyclops and a little. Uh, you get a little saber tooth. You get a little so, cyclops. You, know. you get a little wolverine. Oh, oh yeah, wolverine. Sorry. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Packaging looks good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So, um, uh, not only are, are, are so so here's the real trans transformer stuff, and that is some new Beast King Kingdom the, uh, uh, figures. All right, so yeah, so we got some uh, we got some some leaks, some leaks. Uh, not not the vegetable, but the reveal. And so it looks like we're getting a, a new Air Razor, which I think is pretty cool. A nice uh, uh, classic uh, Beast Wars character. Yeah, we ha- we haven't had an air razor in probably twenty years. <laughs> yeah. So. New Dinobot, All which right. looks real nice. Uh, a Huffer, which was kind of kind of a surprise, but I'll I'll take it because again, I think we haven't had a we haven't had like a, a good Huffer in like quite a while. Yeah, it's been a few years. And then uh, we're getting a new Inferno, which Jimmy, I was kind of saying to you the. The power of the Prime's Inferno was uh, was pretty shitty, oh, well, so I, I, I like that we're kind of getting a more cartoon accurate Inferno. Did you uh, get the uh, the grapple? Oh yes, I did. Yeah, it's the same body, I think, so it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, and then a uh, new Ultra Magnus, which I actually kind of think we didn't need an Ultra Magnus because this is one where the the Siege one I think was pretty perfect. I think but, it's yeah. Yeah, uh, the only difference really is it's going to be cleaner. Yeah. Much. So I'll see how it is in person. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna kind of wait on this one. But um, yeah, and it's it's kind of hard to see in the picture there. But 
we're getting a brand new RC as well, which again I'm surprised because we're just we just got an RC in uh, Earthrise. Yeah, the question is, Matt, since we're probably the only two in the panel who might go in on the Beast Wars, is are we actually going in on the Beast Wars if we have the masterpiece stuff? I'll, I'll get I'll get the characters, the minor characters, like the ones that I don't think uh, Matt, uh, Takar is going to do. Like, I'll probably pass on the Dinobot. Uh, just because I know that that masterpiece di that masterpiece Dinobot is is pretty perfect. I'll get the air razor. Yeah, sure. yeah, I'm definitely gonna get. I'm definitely gonna get like the air razor. Uh, yeah. So as much as I'm hyping up the Beast Wars, I'm definitely gonna gonna cherry pick, but only because I already have all the masterpieces. If I didn't have the masterpiece versions, I'd be I'd be all over these. And then, and then you walk into Toys R Us and you see the entire wave there, and then you buy them anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I have a rule where if if I if I walk into a store and I find the whole wave of something, I, I kind of instantly buy it. So you know, you never know that might that might happen. There's a good chance. Oh shit! Look who's in the chat. <laughs> That's right, oh baby. He's. Yeah, there you go. Mr. Smith would miss you. Miss, Mr. Smith is on the outside looking in today. Yeah. Judging us. But yeah, we were also talking <laughs> yeah. about we were also talking about why that huffer is no! large. Uh I can't tell if the picture is just zoomed in. Uh but he looks like the same size as RC. Yeah, so see, that's what I was kind of worried about because it's it seems like Huffer seems like a weird character to make like a like a deluxe class, but yeah. It, see if if the RC is like a if the RC uh, not the RC uh, the Air Razor if she's like a Legend class figure that that's gonna be kind of like a letdown. I, I'll probably still get it, but I'm just not gonna be as hyped about it. I don't think it'll be Legends class though, just based off the packaging. But yeah, I, I, yeah, I think you're right. So yeah, these look good. Uh, like I said, I really like this uh, Kingdom line. I like what they're what they're doing with it. I can't wait to see uh, some more reveals. I can't I can't wait to see what they're gonna do for their uh, Titan class figure. Ooh, who could they do for a Titan class figure? You know what? I know technically he's not a Titan, but I think he would kind of fit with the theme. But if they did like a Titan class King Poseidon, I would just be okay with that. Pretty much do a Titan class of any of the Combiner Wars stuff at this point, right? Yeah, but see, like King King Poseidon, because it's all he kind of he kind of fits with that Kingdom theme, you know? Yeah, he does. Like they don't, they don't have to go too crazy with it. But if they make them like the same size as Predaking, I, I'd be okay with that. Or they can do a Titan class combiner of the Piranacons or something. Yeah, I'd be that, okay that could with that, that could too. fit that could fit the Kingdom line if they're going for like the animal stuff. Yeah, I'd be okay with that too. Uh, Gojira, am I keeping up with Dandy only in my private time? Only in the private time. There you go. I'll never forget about Dandy. I don't think any of us will forget about Dandy. She'll make a return to the show soon. Don't you worry. Or or no, bad be. bad 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 body paint girl. She's a legend. <laughs> yeah, she is a legend. <laughs> she's she she's a she's a spaghetti and friends legend. She is. She doesn't even know it, but one day she, when she figures <laughs> yeah. it out, she'll be so proud. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then we have the, uh, the fossil guy. Yeah, yeah, that's right, okay. So, yeah, like, I, I think they're, they're kind of doing, like, almost like a, I guess it's, like, evil versions of the Dinobots, where they're just kind of more, like, fossils. Uh, so it looks like we're getting a fossil Triceratops, and I think all these fossil guys can come apart 
and they can make armor for other other uh, other bots. So that's hmm. pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that was it for Transformers news, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, one one bit of news. Figured Jimmy would want me to pull this up from Nanbu Studio 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 Jurassic Series Gigantosaurus Behemoth, the Great Deluxe Version. It is a T Rex little like statue. So if you're into like the, the Jurassic uh, period, the, this this is something for you. It's pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like uh, it looks like an Allosaurus. Yeah, it does. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. Mr. Mr. V, you 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 don't, Mr. V, you don't have to worry. The oil wrestling has not gone anywhere. You don't even have to worry about that. Listen, COVID can't stop us from doing what yeah. we're passionate about. Yeah. Uh-huh. Not only are we getting a gray version, we are also getting a red version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are cool. I kind of wish mm-hmm. it was a, a traditional Tyrannosaurus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, Looks good. As it is, it looks uh, uh it it looks uh, pr- it, it looks uh, uh, pretty good. Yeah. Go, Jira. Are you picking this up? Now, is this uh, is this based off of any kind of property, or is this just like kind of like a generic dinosaur? I think it's mostly ju- just just ju- just a generic uh, uh, dinosaur. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the- uh, just in case you 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 into that that sort of thing because of Jurassic Park. Yeah, I think with this studio, they're trying to do historically accurate dinosaurs to, yeah. for the most part. So yeah, yeah. which but, is cool. But with that, I think we are done with uh, uh, fig news. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Uh, the, uh, get up much stuff, right. stuff as well. So. No, no, get, you get how much stuff as last time, it's, it was a, a bit of a slow week. Yeah, M- Mr. I mean, V's for, for what it is right now, being chill. Yeah, it's been a chill. It's been a chill week. So yeah. for everything going on, yeah, we got like chill a bit. So for now, yeah. I guess we can go over what we've got for pickups. Anybody want to start off? Sure, um, uh, I'll start. So uh, um, came, came straight from Amazon Japan. I got the SH Figure Arts 2.0 Piccolo. Dope. Nice. Oh, solid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a, a good figure. Definitely a, a lot better and a much needed upgrade from the 1.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a f- fantastic f- figure, and I'm glad I can actually pose him now while he's in the cape because that was a pain in the ass and not being able to do it with the original one. Yeah. 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 So that's one of the more recent uh, something that came earlier today. Speaking of Mezco, I got the Mezco Doc Nocturnal. Oh, nice! Looks good. Uh, somebody was nice enough to hold on to him for me because I, I was not able to pre-order it. So thank you very much for that. Not only did I get the figure, I, I also got the comic book that came with it and also a, a T-shirt that came with it. So uh, if you're watching this, thank you. You, 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 you really saved me a, a, fuck ton, uh, a ton of money. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. I got, I got, uh, got Doc. And I am using the using the accessory kit that I, kit that I came back. Uh, this thing. Mm-hmm. Cool. And with that, um, that is all I have. All I have for pickups. Anybody else that nice. has any, go right ahead. Uh, yeah, I got some stuff. Uh, I picked up more Halo stuff. I don't have it on me right now, but I went to the store yesterday and I had some coupons and gift cards. I bought more army building aliens so i got uh what are they here i got three more of the resurrection stuff dope dope for the army build these are cool they uh they changed the paint job for all the alien heads out there they're a lot nicer than the uh first release nice. so that's nice 
Um, and I picked up. I was lucky because I can never find the brown versions of these. Uh, I only find blue, but I got three of the brown 86 Xenomorphs. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, so I am set for army building. Yeah. I got uh, I got the army for 86, and I got the resurrection one, so I'm, I'm all set. And if NECA releases any more, I'm going to shoot myself. Yeah, that's all I got, though, for this week. Uh, okay. okay, I got uh, Matt. I, I I think uh, pretty much the the only thing I got this week I got some uh, Black Series stuff. Uh, I got the R five P eight Galaxy's Edge uh, re release. I got uh, th- these have kind of been out for a while, but I was never able to find them in, in uh, my area. So I've just been kind of waiting for uh, BBTS to get them in. But I finally got uh, Kit Fisto and uh, Commander Bly. And I got, uh, I kind of had no choice, but I kind of had to bite the bullet and just get it on eBay because I missed it. I missed a pre-order on Hasbro Pulse, but I got uh, the Black Series Deluxe uh, Cad Bane. And I, that's pretty much it for pickups for me. Cool. Uh, Derek, anything? Nice. I didn't get much, so well, not even much. I didn't get anything at all. I mean, it's kind of like, yeah, yeah, you know how it goes. Buy a yeah. console. I'm chilling for a while. <laughs> but all right. So speaking of consoles, so since it's been it's been very apparent since the pandemic kind of started, everybody's been gaming more. Even if they've been working, you still like come home. Oh, I've been gaming for a while. I'm gonna start doing more. Um, we decided we could start talking about what we have been playing um, overall. Uh, I guess whoever wants to pick up, we can go from there. Oh, uh, man. Like, for me, the games I play current, I play a lot of older games. Like, I haven't really picked up anything new lately. Like, the last game I picked up was The Last of Us Part Two, which I still haven't had the chance to play. But before that, and now I'm just playing like Red Dead. I've been doing uh, Predator on the new PS5, which finally fucking works. God, that game did not oh, yeah. operate at all on my PlayStation 4. So, and that type of stuff. I actually, uh, right now, I'm, I'm currently uh, playing Red Dead, Red Dead 2 as well. I'm kind of working on the story. Because it's, it's taken me a long time to get through it. Because it's kind of just one of those games where I never really just consistently play it. Like, I always just play it for a little bit, and then I won't touch it for, like, three months. Yeah. But uh, you, you, you know when you kind of got too many games, you're playing too many games? Mm-hmm. That's where I'm at. So I'm trying to be like, okay, I got to just beat it. So I've been playing that, and uh, my, my sister lent me... Uh, Whatever, whatever the newest Zelda game is, for she lent me uh, that for Switch. Oh, uh, Breath of the Wild. There you go, Breath of the Wild. I so I kind of yeah, yeah. So I kind of yeah. been uh, I've kind of been chipping away on that a little bit. I actually, by so, the way, everybody, if you uh, if you're on Xbox right now, they're running their uh, uh, Black Friday deals. MK11 is actually like 15 bucks if you want it. Down. Uh-huh. Whoa! Sweet. As you were saying, so, <laughs> it's okay. Um, so well, yeah, I, <laughs> I was I was lucky enough to to, to get a PS5. So, um, I, I unfortunately don't only was able to afford one game for it, and that was Miles Morales, not including the Spider-Man PS4 remaster, which I have been playing both of. Miles Morales, I consider diet Spider-Man PS4. It's the same game, just shorter. Uh, and also well, with some added mechanics uh, that, that either improve the game in some aspects or, yeah, you know, to, to, to just adds a, a fresh new uh, twist uh, on the table. And, okay. and and I've also went back to playing Mortal Kombat 11 because not only did the Combat Pack 2 come out with Melina, Rambo, and Rain, but you know, the, it, it, they also upgraded MK11 to work on the PS5, meaning upgraded visuals, 4K resolution. And since I have a 4K a TV... All works out in the end. Pretty pretty cool stuff. Um, 
I don't want to download too much games on it because, um, you know, I'm trying to conserve space until I get an external hard drive for the PS4 games for, for the sake of backwards compatibility. Yeah. But, but uh, another game I have been playing, well, uh, started playing is Monster Hunter World because, as I said, I want to get into Monster Hunter. And so far, it's been a pretty fun, uh, it's been a pretty fun, fun game for me. And just one thing I got to bring up about the PS5 the load times are fucking uh, instantaneous, They're like practically. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, I seriously just pop in Spider Man and it's going to load up in at least uh, one second. Now, uh, Vinny, you you got the new uh, DLC for Mortal Kombat 11, right? The uh, Combat Pack 2, yeah. Now, does that add another story mode, or is it just the characters? It's, ju it's just the characters. Okay. It's just the characters. Is there, is, there is there talk of doing any more story expansions, or was there, it just kind of the one and that's it? The, uh, the, there is... There is talk of more content, you know, including more characters and stuff. I haven't heard anything about about new stages. Um, but since Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be here for a while, because you know they they, they already confirmed that that, that they're going to support MK11 with years of content. So okay, it's safe to assume we'll probably get another story chapter, but I'm don't know that for sure because aftermath may have just been a one and done deal. Okay. Good to good to know, good to know. Yeah, I downloaded last night yeah. uh, for PS Five because Vinny, you got Monster Hunter from the PS Collection, right? The, the, the what you, for having PlayStation Plus? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, I downloaded. I didn't try it yet. I downloaded Days Gone last night. I've yeah. heard good things, um, but I don't know. Actually, uh, I, I also just kind of started playing uh, Days Gone. Oh, how is it? Um, it's good. It's it's very it's very similar to uh, it's it's very similar to The Last of Us, where you're just kind of doing a lot of sneaking. Like, there's different kinds of infected people, and certain parts you have to kind of like. I'm not super far into the game, you know, and like certain parts you have to kind of sneak around them and you know you want to avoid getting attacked by the big swarms and then there's areas where there's people uh with guns so again very similar to like last of us where you kind of get a little of both the only kind of like key key difference is uh you get to you get to drive around in a motorcycle yeah you got to fill that thing yeah. up with gas too right yeah 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 so yeah that's part of it so like you have to not not just uh, not just like gas, but you have to kind of maintain the motorcycle, like uh, you know, like uh, if it gets if it gets too like damaged, like you have to kind of find stuff to repair it, and yeah, you have to fill it up with gas and and all kinds all kinds of stuff. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not too far into it, but from what I've played so far, it's pretty good. Like yeah. I said, if you're if you're used to Last of Us, if you like that kind of style of game, you'll definitely like this. Yeah, it's basically from what I heard, Last of Us with a more action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, good I with think that. I think that's fair. Yeah, I'm good with that. I mean, like I'm not yeah. expecting anything miraculous out of the story or anything, but it looks cool. The whole motorcycle game oh, kind of Sons of Anarchy vibe it gives. Yeah. Right. But, uh, yeah. I mean. Right. Sorry. Hey, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, just in case anybody's curious, this is what a traditional PS5 game uh, looks like. Okay. Oh, so you got your disc. Like your yeah. disc instead of like just buying all your games online. You can, uh, yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, I feel that. I'd, I'd rather have disc. I'd rather have disc. Plus, Trust me, I feel the, yeah, the, and also the PS5 that actually uses the discs stores more data than the than than the different version. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Here's the controller, the, the Dual Sense. Mm. Oh, got, got mine here as well, actually. Nice. The, the, uh, the, I'm, this a, is I'm a, a up y'all twos. With the this is yes, a good <laughs> uh, controller. <laughs> this is this is a, a good uh, controller. Uh, like the the like I never felt such 
uh, sensation playing, uh, playing any on my games uh, before. So this controller definitely uh, does its job. The, the adaptive triggers work wonders. The, the vibration works wonders. The buttons. So, 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 so fun to hit. Yeah, that's uh, a good uh, controller. Did you get the uh, PlayStation camera with that, Vinny? Uh, no, unfortunately. No? Uh, my my main focus was my main focus was the console and the gamer. Dude, last night Gojira uh, I heard knows. The PlayStation this. camera was garbage. Oh, I honestly haven't heard anything about it. I, I I just realized it existed last night when I booted up Isolation on my stream. Gojira was there, and it told me that if you have the PlayStation camera, the uh, game can detect if you're making noise, and the alien will hear you. And it'll detect your head movements too. It's I'm not fucking buying that for Isolation. <laughs> yeah, tell me cool about idea. it. <laughs> it's a cool idea, right? I'm like, no, that's really dope, though. Yeah. No, but I haven't heard if it's garbage or not. Actually, I haven't heard anything. And uh, I ordered... Uh, it's not going to be here yet. It's going to be here a few days. I ordered Assassin's Creed Valhalla for PS5, which I'm not expecting to be too good, but I like Viking stuff, Viking history. And, have you uh, have you played any other uh, Assassin's Creed games? I played a few. Like I played Revelations. I played the first one. Uh, I played Unity, among others, and Odyssey. Okay, yeah, me too. I've been kind of working my way through uh, in the Assassin's Creed games. I really like I Revelations. Played Unity. I still need to play Syndicate. Which which uh, which that which whole, one? Like, the whole which... NCO is really deep and great. Yeah. Yeah, uh, which one is where you're kind of in, like, England? Uh, yep. uh, Syndicate. There you go. That's the one I'm kind of playing right now. I think my favorite one would either be Revelations or Black Flag. Actually, I like Black Flag a lot. I... Black Flag is, like, a top five for me. I'd probably say Brotherhood. Yeah. No cap. Brotherhood is good, too. Mm-hmm. I like being Go, <laughs> Gojira, Gojira, you've been playing Valhalla? Yeah, I'm oh oh I also ordered with it uh Ghost of Tsushima. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I believe you are. Yeah. yeah. Like Yeah. That that whenever I get my PS5, I'm still buying that regardless. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, I definitely got to get get around to playing that too. Like I said, I'm just trying not to yeah. buy any new games because there's so many games that I got to, uh, I gotta actually like play to completion, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's my that's my issue yeah. I found recently, where I'm playing a bunch of games at a time, at the same time, and I can't focus on only one. Mm. And if I focus only on one, I get this urge to play something else. Yeah, it's like, I don't. It's a mess. Yeah, I feel I feel like. Uh, and, and maybe this is uh and, and and this is this is not like a flex like nobody take it that way but i i think if you have like more than one like uh console so so let's like let's say like if i if i'm spending a lot of time playing like uh playstation right yeah then i i feel like oh shit i'm i'm neglecting like my xbox too much i'm like i gotta play some like xbox games or like oh, I'm, I'm not playing enough like switch games you know what i mean I know exactly what you mean because I built I exactly my, where you come from. I, I built my gaming PC recently mm. and now that I'm playing PlayStation I kind of feel bad for neglecting it a little bit the yeah PC because it's a powerful rig not to flex mm. but uh, yeah so it's it's it is what it is yeah so see that's my problem like I've been I've been trying to go hard on Red Dead 2 on like PlayStation but now I'm starting to be like oh I gotta I got. I gotta kind of jump on like my Xbox and see what's kind of going on on there. Yeah. But you know, that's the that's the just the life of a, a gamer, I see, guess, at, right? At first, at first, whenever um, no, go ahead, my bad. <laughs> oh no, no, I'm I'm done. You go ahead. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. At first, whenever I had got my Switch, and they're like playing that just for a second. I didn't feel as bad until I got back on the Xbox and realized I could have been playing like Zelda or Super Smash Bros. or something like that. Too. Yeah, yeah. But then I realized, oh, I'm only going to play this for those games. 
<laughs> so like that that's that. I get like you feel console neglected until you realize, oh, this is like oh, I'm gonna be playing this for that. If I get a PC, I know I'm gonna be playing certain games for that, and then yeah, Xbox, yeah. I know I know for a fact everything else is like first party in the Xbox for everything for me, so I don't know. I feel you, I feel everybody on that though. Like you know, if your console, uh, console preference ends up doing that. I'm yeah. I'm usually a, like I have a routine with the Switch where I usually play it at night in my bed. Um, so I don't, I don't get my other consoles don't get jealous. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the advantage of this the Switch is I feel like yeah. I'll, I'll just kind of be like okay I'll I'll only play it when it comes time to play like something wireless like if I'm in bed. Or, like, if somebody's watching TV, I can just kind of play it, and then I don't feel so bad. Yeah. So it's more it's more between uh, PlayStation and Xbox. It's like they're they're battling for my attention, and I can only give one attention for so long before I feel like I'm just neglecting the other too much. Just your Xbox screaming at you. Stop Definitely. being a slut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, so I'm the thinking point of, like, like oh, the whole uh, game thing that you brought up, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, you... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. You go ahead. You go ahead. All right, go ahead. No, it's just like, uh, no, like I'm, I'm like, say, oh like, man, um, I'm. Yeah, it's the whole. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm sorry. You go ahead. I keep cutting you off. <laughs> no, you good? Uh, I was about to say like, um, like, cause now since I well, I had bought what two K and COD. And then I bought Game mm-hmm. Pass on top of that because you know I bought the well I got Ultimate for like the dollar thing I'm gonna just keep it, but I downloaded a whole bunch of games that <laughs> yeah. now I feel like I got to go run through the whole back catalog, and that like that's gonna be a struggle considering it's gonna be mm-hmm. like a whole bunch of like these sixty games I haven't played or I haven't played in a while at least. So like sometimes yeah. you don't need all that right now. I'm just gonna do it, but yeah, it's yeah that. Game Game Pass can definitely be dangerous. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like I have too many options now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> for real, especially for what they're adding and have added in the past month, it's crazy, bro. But yeah. But um, I uh. Do y'all, do y'all got anything else you want to touch on? I know we're uh, we're getting close, we're getting close to that uh, hour mark, and I know we're all tired. We know we don't want to. We're not gonna stay on too too long tonight. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit shorter. But is there anything y'all want to kind of touch on before we get out of here? Uh, I know we could mention um, uh, Mar- 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 Marvel announced today that they're uh, develop developing a new Predator movie. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. No way. Let's go get lit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. Luck, it's luckily still it's still under 20th Century Fox. Luckily, yeah. so yeah. Disney, it, like you can tell, Disney doesn't really want anything to do with it because it's not really a money maker, mm-hmm. uh, which I'm happy about. So, and it has the director who did Ten Cloverfield Lane, yeah, which, had a, which was good mm-hmm. until the ending. Um, I don't know. Have you guys watched that one? Uh, I did. Yeah. I watched yeah. this teaser, but yeah, I, I definitely think it's a good movie. Yeah, like uh, not to spoil to anyone in the chat, but the ending's just not good at all. Um, but the rest of the movie's perfect. But luckily, like the the director they have who did that movie, he didn't write Ten Cloverfield Lane, so I think I think the movie's in good hands. Better than fucking Shane Black. Yeah. To, to everyone, to the folks who came over from my channel to be here. They know. I roast Shane Black in every video, in every stream. He is my enemy. And we're free. We don't have to worry about him anymore. Yeah, that movie was uh, pretty, pretty garbage. You know what? It was it was okay up until uh, Fugitive gets, gets taken out. Once Fugitive dies, it's all downhill. But yeah, it's, 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 it's not even really that good before that. You know what I mean? Oh, Gojira, don't even mention Paradox. The trash that that was was unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Uh, did, y'all, did y'all also hear, apparently, uh, James Cameron is working on a Terminator 6? 
like he's actually working on a million directing. things. I'm not surprised about that actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like um, he's apparently like, working he, on a new uh, Terminator. I, I'm I, now four at this point. We need to like just kill off, you know, IP at this point because that needs to be dead. I'm not saying Terminator as a whole. I'm just saying like let's just stop making them. It, like let it live as yeah. its own thing now because it's so classic. And then also just end um because you want you know he wants to do uh, uh what was it Avatar again and start doing a whole like universe I guess it's not worth it because it's so, it's so old it's, I'm not gonna care about it dude no one even like really not. To, like, not do it <laughs> and like I, I, Avatar was okay I admittedly I don't like it as much as a lot of people like I know people get really hyped for that movie I think it's just okay. I think for what it was, like, I think it was right. fine, but I I don't think it needs to really be, like, a franchise. Like, it, it kind of told the story it needs to tell. Like, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm just, like, I don't need to see more from this. I don't need to see anything else from this universe. I agree, Cogsmith. I'll wait till production. But, uh, dude, with Avatar, Thanks. with Avatar, it made a lot of money at the box office like a ton Mm -hmm. it's like the number one movie or a tied with avengers whatever um but just because like have you ever met a person that said man i want to have an avatar cinematic universe or i need a sequel in my life yeah exactly i I think that's what it is like i think people not at all i think that i think for the most part uh i think for the most part people like the movie but again yeah like i don't think I, I don't think there needs to be anything else from that franchise. Like, I think the one, the one and done movie, I think was just okay. Like, I think that's all it really needs to be. Yeah, like it wasn't. It yeah, was the only. Screwed. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say that the only groundbreaking thing about that movie was the visuals, which was the point of the movie, because the yeah. story was just, you know, it is what it is. And uh, the whole thing with uh, ter- Terminator, like, listen, like, I like Terminator, and, you know, I, I kind of famously like movies that people don't like. Like, I like all the Terminator movies. I think they're all good. Um, and uh, maybe not Salvation, but all the <gasps> other ones. Not Salvation? Well, which one, is, which one is Salvation? Christian Bale. Okay, no, that's that's pretty good. What's, what's the one with... Uh, the, with Jai the Courtney, there you go. What's what's that one? Genesis. Okay, that one's <laughs> that one. That one's not bad, but it's it's not great it, either. It, it's watchable. Like I thought, the newest one. Did y'all see the newest one? I skipped it. Uh, I didn't yet. I plan to eventually. All right. Well, I, I thought the new one was really really good, but my point is, uh, I, I I think I think these movies. I think these movies consistently flop because I, I think it's kind of that same thing where I think people just, I think people just don't want anything else from this franchise. I think people, I think people are just like, I don't need to see anything else uh, from Terminator. And I think that's why the movies, the movies do consistently bad. Uh, Patricia. Yeah. Dark fate. That's what, that's the one I, I actually really like that one. But again, I, I think it's just one of those things like people just don't want Terminator movies anymore, and that's why they keep not doing well. But it seems like it seems like whenever people kind of speak with their money and say like we don't want this, it's like it seems like yeah. they just keep making them. Like how many how many X Men movies needed to flop? You know, and it's like actually it's like Fox didn't even stop making the X Men movies. They didn't even give the rights back to Marvel. They just kind of got bought out. But it's like, man, like how many, how many X Men movies? Yeah, like how many X Men movies had to would have had to flop before they would have been like, okay, you know what? People just don't give a fuck about these movies. Exactly. I have no idea why is that. It makes me wonder if makes me wonder if Sony Studios is going to go down the same fate if their Spider Man movies start not 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 yeah. Not doing it. And the, because I've I've already heard this and this confirmed, the the, the 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 they would be offering they would be willing to let go to Spider Man rights for ten uh, billion dollars. No, I think it was ten million. Excuse me, 
the, 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 I've I've already co- uh, the, this is already confirmed. I did my research. The thing is, though, um, I think Marvel is trying to wait until the studio potentially gets bought up by Apple, mm-hmm. because I'm not sure if that's even still going on right now. Yeah. Or or, or they're potentially waiting. They've been in talks for a while. Uh, the, 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 they've been in talks for a while, so that's a possibility because then the rights would em- would just automatically revert back, back to Marvel. And, and uh, another possibility is Sony. Lo- Sony's movies starting to not do well. They start to lose a lot of money, and the, the, that that causes them to, to get either the the rights back, the rights back, or that causes Disney to to, to buy the studio. Mm-hmm. The, the, so that's also a possibility. And the other possibility is Disney finally caving and and just buying the rights back anyway, which is something that they really should be doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If, if I'm being honest, like ten million dollars is is like nothing, but I can also understand why because they've been losing. Disney themselves have all, has also been losing a fuck ton of money. They, yeah, they've also, like they've been they've been struggling. Yeah. They've also been losing a lot of money, and it, well, it's not just because of the pandemic. It's also because of, of, of all the bullshit business practices that they, 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 they try to pull with the SJW shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, so it's like a lot of these companies are are, are just bringing on their own uh, inevitable downfall. So, I I, th- I think the perfect way to kind of end this show, and I I think we can all agree, uh, Hollywood. Listen, we'll 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 kind of tell you what movies we want to see. You just need to kind of listen, okay? If if movies if movies flop. Maybe it's because we just don't want it anymore, and maybe you just got to give us something else, you know? Hollywood, are you paying attention? We'll, we'll, no. we'll tell you. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll tell you what you we'll tell you what you want. We want, okay? You just got to listen. You just got to open your ears, Hollywood. Just open your ears and hear what we're saying with our wallets and credit cards and whatever other form of currency. You might use. Fox is listening right now, and they're just saying, "You want more X Men?" <laughs> yeah. You know what you're saying? They're like, they're like, I, I knew people wanted X Men back. <laughs> what's, what's, what's Vinnie Jones doing? Let's get him back. Remember that guy that played Gambit? <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember when he was a big deal, and then he did Ghosts of Mars. <laughs> no, not not Ghosts of Mars. What was that movie? Uh, John John Carter, John Carter, it was something. John, it of was Mars. John Carter. It was John Carter. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Remember when he did John Carter? How did that movie do? <laughs> not good. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that. That movie killed his career, I man. About that. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what's that? You oh, want John man. Carter too? <laughs> you you want to you want a six part John right Carter away. franchise? <laughs> <laughs> but, John um, Carter. Yeah. All right. Work. So <laughs> we're gonna wind it down, y'all. It's yeah, good yeah, to yeah. have you guys here with us. Glad you guys came to the chat. Thank everybody in the chat. Um, one more thing: if you are trying to get these next gen consoles, make sure you are ready. Twenty fifth. Major store is going to have them 27th, Black Friday. Everybody's going to have them. GameStop might have them in stores. Be ready online if you got to. And to also let you know, the shortages for the Xbox is unfortunately going to last until April. So if you need, if you need an Xbox, you either have to get lucky. If, yeah, if you want an Xbox, you either have to get lucky or you're going to have, have to wait. There you go. But, so, but yeah, otherwise, yeah, uh, this, is, this is it for tonight. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I just want to say, uh, don't forget, everybody. Listen, you don't need to smash the like button, or you don't need to kick it. You don't need to be so aggressive. Just gently touch the the like button. Well, just that gently, that like just button, like just button. gently rub the like button. Just yeah. give it a nice little rub. Make sure you that, that, rub the like that, button. The, the, that like button is very delicate. Don't smash it. 
Yeah, and also right. also make sure you gently rub that subscribe button because if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, what are you even doing with your life? Subscribe um, to this channel now. Uh, I want you to rub both of them so, good, all right? You got two hands, don't you? You heard. There you go. You guys heard Herbert the Perv. We got. <laughs> we need you guys hit them buttons, slightly rub them. Also go join the Sanctuary on Facebook. We got that. We got... You we got our, all of our other YouTube channels. Go check out everybody's channel. Make sure you check out Mr. Smith's channel just because he's not here. And don't forget, 20 percent more meat will make more of a yeah. man. I totally yeah, yeah, can't forget about care. that. <laughs> so, but remember, all right, eat, sleep, collect, repeat. Yes, sir. There you go. Do that. There you go, baby. Moves. You got it. All right. Otherwise, a stick boys are out. Have a nice night. Stick boys. Bye. 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 Bye.